Good morning everyone. In today's video I'm going to continue uh, from the previous file that we have the single sided uh, window. Uh, it's uh, actually a single sided uh, hinged window. Uh, today I'm going to continue to make a double sided and in this exercise I really uh, you know just saved that the file as a double sided hinged window and you know that um, we need to make two of those and the easiest way and the quickest way to do that is just to go ahead and open the family type and change the formula related to make the you know the operable width which is you know has been calculated by by subtracting the the thickness here for that frame which is 50 by 50 out of the overall width of the window and what i'm going to do is to make this number itself divided on two so let me try this and as you can see, now the width of the operable part is actually half, you know, half the overall gap. And that's what I want. Just select this guy again and go ahead and mirror. So I select this dude here and mirror it. Now we need to flex. Of course, it's not going to work. See, that's uh, what we want. So let's go ahead and change the overall width uh, to 2000 hit apply and now we see things uh, actually you know getting overlap with each other and obviously that this dude is working perfectly as uh, oops this guy here is working perfectly if I go and look at the plan this guy is working perfectly this guy have no really attached to anything so let's do that just go align select the reference of plane again not the face like this guy and then lock it select the center and then you know select with tabs this guy and then lock them together now let's have a look now this dude and this dude together let's go to exterior again let's change the 2000 into uh, 1500 hit apply work perfectly now let's change the height and see if it's work okay uh, let's go 1200 it works perfectly now the cell I don't know where to change it actually let me have a look let me change this default cell height that's a default value I think we need to double check that in a project environment and it's already locked in here uh, default cell value let's see if it's available here yeah, it's here okay so 800 Beautiful. Now we find that this is still collapsing. It's okay. Just again, I'm just going to turn that into wireframe mode. Just search as much as you can for the possibilities and then fix, you know, by yourself what you can find. Uh, it's work very nice, except that the height is not really connected. And that's really, you know, freaking me out. Oh, yeah, that's because I l uh, locked the wrong thing to the wrong thing. Anyway, so my fault, guys. Select this dude here and then this guy and then lock it now it should work perfectly now we need to go to default cell I'm gonna make this a 600 again I need again to test the height I'm gonna make it 1000 and see if it's gonna crush nothing crushes beautiful so now this dude again have to be changed so I'm gonna say unlock that get this to here uh, I think it's already locked Select this guy again and push it here and I think it's locked again. Select those guys together and then mirror them. And I bet they are not locked. I don't know. Let's check. Width. Let's see how miserable it's going to go when you flex them. Uh huh. Lovely. Nothing bad. Okay. 1000. Great. Now the height. Beautiful. Still connected cell now the dangerous business the framing let's say uh, 30 beautiful and what else uh, the operable frame maybe I don't know so as you can see it works smoothly and correctly in most of the cases uh, probably we need I'm um, just gonna save that first and probably you need to load that again. Let's test this. Let's test this actually in a project. So 
let me load and see because the last time it wasn't actually uh, uh, working within the project environment so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna place a wall in here and go back to this load that place it oops as such and now I'm going to 3D let's see it's this uh, working let's make this a 900 hit apply so it worked perfectly go back to level 1 and again let's go to I don't know again to the perspective uh, probably we need to select this guy uh, make it 2000 uh, changing the frame back to 50 probably okay and if I look at east north or west I should have seen nicely those two hinged double hinged that they move one last thing to double check which is really always freaking me out is to check the wall thickness beautiful it's it worked without crushing that's what we want anyway so I think that's uh, that's about it guys now we have uh, our own uh, double uh, hinged uh, uh, double sided hinged uh, window thank you for, for watching and have a good day bye bye